Okay. Hi guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Leo. He's upset. He's not going to have my undivided attention. Welcome, cross watchers, and for those of you who are brand new to the channel, come in the comments, say hi, let me know where you're tuning in from. We're happy to have you join us. Okay, so I'm going to pull um, from Soul Helper Oracle just to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through for you today. Card 40, you are caught up in drama. Act to free yourself. Change and then blossom again. Okay, so fours in numerology are about structure, right? So if you find yourself caught up in any kind of drama, you're seeking to get some structure and stability. Um, so let's see what we can get from this main spread. I'll give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers as needed. Let's see what comes through for you. Sagittarius. Ooh, I like it. Ace of Wands. Perhaps some invitation from spirit that feels new and exciting and passionate. Um, some inspiration, motivation. Top row here is your person. There's the drama. Um, and the middle row is your energy. And then um, definitely the drama. I see it. Bottom row is your connection. And so we're going past, present, future. So it, it's interesting because when I look in the past uh, for your person, five of pentacles, maybe some insecurities, uh, so feeling somehow um, blocked or rejected, and perhaps you pressed pause here and we were looking to close out in the connection, close out a cycle. There was definitely something here that um, was unfolding in an unhealthy way, perhaps your person presently feeling some wounds, you feeling um, betrayed and in the connection, there's a need to get at the truth, right? What's really going on here? Um, the Five of Swords is an unfair fight. And so even though this person is coming through with some heartache or some wounded energy for sure, um, it takes two. And whatever it is that happened, you, you stopped the presses here because there was something that felt unfair to you. And now in the connection, there's a search for the truth and a search for some clarity. Uh, so in the future for your person, it is about um, getting on the same page, being more cooperative, more co-creative. Um, for you, it's about maybe being a little more open-hearted, compassionate, um, and in the connection, some messages from the heart that are sincere, going in both directions, perhaps some apologies, some... Um, uh, and it may just be where there's like a truce. That's sort of what, what I'm feeling. Like you both feel the same way and come to some kind of conclusion and cooperative energy that feels like uh, it's coming from the heart. And that may be why this Ace of Wands is here. It can be sort of a re-energizing of the connection, um, reigniting the torch of passion. And so... Let's see, it could be um, concluding a cycle of drama. Ace of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's been a lot of um, anxiety around this, but I do feel like you're moving into some kind of uh, a new era of more reciprocity and mutual generosity. It's definitely something that you've both been preoccupied with. Maybe more you, because I think that that was probably what the issue was. Um, if you were carrying more than your fair share. And there is the um, Nine of Wands, which is about perseverance and pushing through um, against all odds, not giving up. So for your person here, I wanna see the Five of Wands to the Three of Swords. 
Five of Wands. My apologies. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Yes. Eight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. I, I absolutely feel like this, this is where the point where something came to a very painful end. I do feel there was a walking away. It doesn't matter who did the walking away. You both could have decided to go separate ways. Um, Seven of Pentacles, maybe on some level, this person thought you'd return. So they might have been waiting, 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 and they're still sitting here with this wound because that hasn't happened. Uh, let's go ahead and look for them for the future here with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, once they get on board uh, to some degree, understand that the Three of Pentacles, not in this deck, but in every other traditional deck, you see this is happening in the basement of the church. And this is the artisan, the craftsman, shoring up the foundation. And usually you see a couple of um, assistants there assisting. So it's about that cooperation, that co-creation to build a solid foundation upon which to build um, something that will stand the test of time. That's the theory. So it feels like once they get that, once they understand they have to be invested to that degree, they have to be on at least that much of a similar page um, and in cooperation with you, it brings a lot of peace of mind. You can move past this troubled water. You can get to some um, calmer, more peaceful uh, energy. So that's where they're headed. Um, but they've been waiting something out and they're kind of coming to terms with the fact that that's not what's gonna happen, that they have to be the one that makes that change. So for you, we know that you stopped everything, stopped the presses. Let's see what that Five of Swords to the Queen of Cups is about. There's the world, okay. Definitely closing out a cycle of something that felt like you were only being breadcrumbed. Um, yes, definitely feeling sabotage set up, played for a fool maybe. Um, there was no future in that. But, you know, cycles can change. And if we bring that to an end, there can certainly be a new beginning that you may be open to. So what I'm going to do is pull extra an extra card or two, if needed, for the Queen of Cups, because that's representing the future. Let's see the energy of the Queen of Cups. She is not, in fact, a doormat. She can be, but she's not. In this case, she's more an empath that... Um, is coming from a position of strength in her compassion. So let's see. Nine of cups, six of wands. Okay, we'll go. All right, so you'll be a little nervous, appropriately so, apprehensive, maybe some insecurities being triggered, rising to the surface, but you'll keep them in check because your focus will be on some wish fulfillment through compromise, right? This is about forging a win-win outcome, some form of reconciliation. Please hear me when I say it's, it's right now, it's come through almost every reading and you're sign number nine. So I, I'm here to say that this series of readings has been a lot about um, reconciliations in the ether. So if that's been something that's, been eluding you and whatever that means for some of you it's more dramatic than for others but there's something here that feels like you're you're going to have a, a change of heart and be a change of heart and be open to it because you stop the drama and if you haven't yet stopped the drama stop the drama take that action because there will be a change, a concluding of that cycle of whatever breadcrumbing or whatever behavior feels sort of sabotage -y or unfair. And the wish fulfillment that you have will come from your ability to hold space for this person coming to terms with the need to kind of align with you instead of being um, on opposite sides of the proverbial volleyball net. That's not the fun part you want to 
sort of be on the same. I used to, I said that to someone once and they didn't understand it. And I said, well, would you rather be on the same side of that net with me? Or would you rather I be spiking balls at your face? And they were like, oh, I never thought of it that way. So that's what I'm seeing here is a kind of getting on the same team. Um, let's look at the connection here, the world to the Queen of Swords, since the world's come through twice now. Past to the present. Yes. A lot of resistance around um, showing up, being sort of a, you know, more committed in the connection. I feel there was definitely some cycling in and out, some indecision around the notion of commitment, some resistance, and maybe it was something that you weren't really clear about. But you were kind of this person perhaps kind of kept you roped in until you figured it out. I do feel that's what happened. You figured it out and you're like, yeah, no, this isn't going to work. And that hanged man is doing a lot of uh, heavy lifting here. Normally it can be just press pause. It's a temporary standstill. But I feel like it was press pause that kind of ripped the rug out from under someone because they kind of kept trying to keep energies moving in a very small way um, and that did not work because along with that very small energy was a feeling in your soul of rejection and of somebody who was really very undecided and defensive and resistant. And that was perceived by you as some form of a betrayal, right? Or maybe not a betrayal in a um, nefarious way, but as if to say you're not good enough. So you turn the tables. Mm -hmm. So now we have the Queen of Swords to the Page of Cups in the near future. Queen of Swords, Truth Seeker, Truth Teller. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Yes. So we get at some truths about the guardedness. And maybe the dropping of that center pentacle reveals some emotional vulnerability. And that allows this connection to kind of rise from unconscious awareness and Small messages from the heart, something sincere, something more vulnerable, even romantic, dare I say, can be expressed. Instead of all the posturing, which is what I see here, there's been a lot of posturing. So it's good that you haven't given up. It's good that there's a focus on some generosity and reciprocity um, and a mutual investment. Allow it to start a little smaller. Um, allow there to be sort of a, a, a break in the tension and the drama. Allow some calm. Keep this moon under control because it can be a, a troubling, triggering energy. Um, trust the intuition that you have rising to the surface instead of allowing it to come through as fear. You know, sometimes our intuition um, is first experienced as fear of the unknown. And what it is, is our intuition is saying, oh, something's changing. What is it? Right? Instead of I can't trust it, ask yourself, what is it? This is new. What is it? Um, but it's an interesting reading, Sag. It looks like it's going in a very positive direction. I want to take this to the extended and see more about what's going on with your person behind the scenes. That might prove very helpful. Um, how they feel about you at this moment because they're in a state of change themselves. And what are their intentions as, as they're going through this change? So that's what we're going to do. The links to the extended are below. You're going to see option one or option two or option three. There are three ways to get extended. Please be sure you read what it is you're signing on for. Um, also, before I give you the astrology for this particular part of the spread, if it speaks to you, um, if it helps you, if it's illuminating, if it's confirmational, if you've been enjoying my readings and have not so yet done, please subscribe. Please subscribe below.
Yes, that is the way you help me grow the channel. That is the only way I can stay here on this platform and continue to bring you these messages is if you do your part to help YouTube know that I'm a real thing. Okay, there have been some changes in the algorithms and so we gotta do more to let them know, hey, she's the real deal. So that's my ask. Thank you very much. It does make a big difference, so thank you. Um, here we go. So the astrology. Wow, we have the hanged man is Neptune, which rules the sign of Pisces. We've got the world card, Saturn. It comes out twice, Aquarius and Capricorn. Queen of Cups is some Cancerian energy. The moon is Pisces. We have the Hierophant is Taurus. Queen of Swords, Libra. Knight of Cups, more Pisces. And Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of water energy in this reading. So if you've got a lot of water in your chart or are dealing with a water sign, um, extra confirmation for you. So that's what I have for you. The links to the extended are below. I'm heading there now. See you in a second. Bye for now.